So let's dive into the, uh, to the next section, which is the pizza delivery uh, competition and the matrix that we've created here. As you can see, the international marketplace has shifted since 2012. Uh, some noticeable big, again, well-capitalized players are in, are in the marketplace today. And importantly, McDonald's has partnered with one of these, um, or uh, you know, in the international marketplace, McDonald's has partnered with Uber Eats to grow that business. You have Amazon, again, these big, well-capitalized players are now in the marketplace today. And it looks even more drastic on slide 29, which is the, the the domestic marketplace, and again, you know, McDonald's partnering with Uber Eats and Amazon Prime. And then I've also, you know, put Pizza Hut in there, obviously, in the middle, because this is the 800-pound gorilla, which we'll talk about in a second. But um, if Pizza Hut can, can get their act together, that's going to create significant problems for, uh, for Domino's. Slide 30 um, is further evidence that the pizza is no longer the only game in town, as customers have shown a tendency to order various items. So pizza, appetizer, pasta, noodles, right, deli, sandwiches, tacos, burritos. I mean, it's a broad menu and broad choices that people want to order and feel comfortable ordering for. Uh, from different players in the space. So um, I, when I first saw this chart, I thought it would be much more skewed towards pizza. So obviously there is the appetite, if you will, um, for, uh, for, other, um, for other proteins and or sandwiches and whatnot to be ordered via the competition. One of the things that has driven, I think, Domino's success, and this is just a, a very telling chart, when you look at the one billion plus pizza chain market share shifts, um, you know, Pizza Hut has basically ceded all of the market share uh, to, to essentially to Domino's and Little Caesars. Um, Domino's from 2012 to 2016 has gained 560 basis points of market share, Little Caesars 254 basis points of market share, and um, Pizza Hut has, has ceded 830 basis points of market share. So, you know, you can sort of sum up the shifts in, in you know, the marketplace for Pizza Hut. and. Um, and we're going to talk about this more in a second, but this is the, this historical context is important to to keep in mind when you're if you're long dominoes and you think it's going to continue with 10, 11 percent comps, you've got to you've got to have implied in that statement is that they're going to gain more market share. So where are they going to get the market share from? Is it Pizza Hut? Others are going to be small mom pop players. Technology advantage is it going away? So there's a lot of things we'll talk about, but this is an important slide to keep everything in context. Slide 34 um, runs through a few more um, um, metrics around the, uh, the four horsemen, as we call it, in terms of the, the, the market size for the, the menu size, average unit volumes um, and margins, uh, all for your knowledge. And as I said on slide 35, you know, Pizza Hut is the 800-pound gorilla. And this is important um, because, you know, the Yum is a, is a great company. It's a really well-run company. Um, and, and they'll get it right. And, um, and they certainly have, have a plan that works um, for KFC that they're now going to take uh, and implement at Pizza Hut. They're, as I said before, they're increasing their marketing spend. Um, they're spending $130 million to improve the operations. They're investing in drivers. So we'll have to see how this evolves in terms of how it impacts um, the, the business for uh, Pizza Hut and what the implications are for Domino's. But as I sit here today and I think about how strong Yum is and the plan that worked for KFC and the implied issues that it means for, um, for Pizza Hut, I would think that you know, the 800-pound gorilla is going to wake and that market share shift that they've seeded over the last five years is probably going to slow and may be even possible that Domino's or Pizza Hut gains some market share. Thank you.